Guys, this video let's see how to configure remote state files in Terraform. Terraform actually supports a different remote states. Out of that, one is S3. This video we're gonna see how to configure, how to use S3 to store remote files, remote state files. I have created one sample uh, Terraform project. Let's first initialize this project. When you do this, Terraform downloads the plugin specific to the provider we are using. In our case, we are using AWS. It's downloading the plugins for AWS. Yeah, the plugins got initialized. Uh, you can see this dot uh, terraform folder which contains the plugins right so let me apply this code when we apply terraform is going to maintain a state file in local let's check that let's do terraform apply with auto approve The resource got created successfully. If we check the workspace, there's a file with name Terraform and with extension TF state. Let's open that. It's an JSON format file. This file will contain all the details about the resources which are provisioned by Terraform. It by default maintains this state file locally. This is absolutely fine if one developer is working on this project but in case we have multiple developers contributing to same project every developer must refer to a common otherwise a single state file to achieve that we need to configure remote backends out of that in this video we want to see how to use s3 to store state files such that every developer when he runs apply command that gets synced with a common state file for this demo, I have created one S3 bucket. Uh, we are going to use this bucket to store our state file. Uh, this is the bucket name and it is in Mumbai region. So we want to configure S3 as a remote state. Let's search. Let's grab this information. Let's keep it in our Terraform script. So I need to replace this with a bucket name there. So specify the path where you wanna maintain this state file. So I wanna have something like this. So my app, let's say this is my dev environment. right so absolutely you can have any key but i'm just keeping it more relevant and descriptive this bucket region is in uh, mumbai that is ap south one as of today terraform doesn't support using interpolations inside this backend so i'm hard coding all those values now uh, let's run a terraform command which takes the state file which is already present in the local and moves that file to the remote so when you configure uh, remote states initially we have to run again terraform in it see that it's doing the initialization for the backend there is a prompt it found pre-existing state locally it's asking us to migrate that existing state locally to s3 obviously i want to do that yeah perfectly done so if you go and check your s3 bucket there should be a folder and a file created according to our configuration let's do a refresh so my app dev 
and you can find this terraform.tf state this file name you can give uh, any name you like you don't have to maintain exactly same name but when we follow names like this it's more readable anybody seeing the file name they understand what it contains let's check what is happening in the local see this uh, earlier we had data in this file when we ran terraform in it it has taken your local state and sent everything to s3 next time onwards when you run terraform apply it's going to sync it's going to check for the state file in s3 not locally let's say we have three developers working on same project in their local workspace their script points to same s3 bucket such that so when they apply it gets syncs with the remote state file even the s3 bucket we created if you observe we didn't create this s3 bucket using terraform code because we can't do that we should do that with some other script so first we need to have a script which creates which will make sure a bucket to store state files then we should go and run terraform apply we can't create buckets via terraform via same project where we are going to use that bucket for maintaining state files.